Hey, what's going on guys? Hope you're doing well. In today's developer video, I will be demonstrating a brand new feature developed by our lead programmer, which offers level designers a way to more accurately and realistically project reflections onto surfaces. So this new method is referred to as parallax corrected cube maps. All right, so in order to properly show you what this does, I first need to show you what uh, reflections look like by default in Source Engine games. All right, so I've got a map loaded up here. And as you can see, we've got a pretty shiny looking tile floor. And we've got two ceiling lights here, which you can see reflected down on the floor. And as I move around, you can kind of see they just kind of move by themselves or they kind of just, I can never really catch up to them. And they kind of disappear behind walls and other objects. So normally in real life, if you were standing straight below this ceiling light and you looked down, you should be able to see the reflection of it right at your feet, right? And you would normally be able to see reflections from other objects like this bench and these lockers. So you actually can see the reflections from these things, but only if you crouch down. You can kind of start to see the lockers, but they're really large, distorted, and they're just in a really weird position. You can also see them if you get kind of far away so that they're closer to your center eye line level. So it's very awkward and very unrealistic. You can also see that demonstrated more here in the bathroom. So take note, you're not able to see reflections from really any objects in the scene like the urinals or the uh, hand dryers. And once again, these ceiling lights are just very strangely oriented. So the reason that these reflections are like that is because there is a entity placed by level designers in the environment, which are called cube maps. And the cube maps take uh, a sample from their position of the environment, and then they project that sample onto the surfaces around it. So the cube map in the bathroom is, I think it's located about right here which is why the light you can see is kind of close to where it's supposed to be from this position. It looks fairly accurate. But then the problem is that the cube map reflections do not move with the player's perspective. They stay stationary baked into the surfaces. So that's why they move like that. Same with over here. The cube map I believe is located right in the middle, like right here, which is why the reflections of the lights are on either side of you and look accurate until once again, you start to move then that's when they start to look weird all right so now let's load up this same map but this time with parallax corrected cube maps implemented so you can see what that looks like all right guys we got the map loaded up and we got parallax corrected cube maps rocking and rolling and check that out dude look how flipping sexy that looks so you can see the lockers reflected properly in the floor there same with the ceiling lights, if you're standing right below it, it's right at your feet. And they stay station- well, they stay relatively stationary, I guess you could say. Depending on where the objects actually are in the world. So you can see the bench, you can see the towels. You can really see the walls if they're, uh, if they're reflective enough. So let's move into the, uh, the bathroom here. You can see the urinals reflected into the floor as well and they stay relative to where the objects actually are. Same with all the ceiling lights. And the reflections on the ceiling also look much, much better. So why is this happening? Like, like what exactly is different? Well, the reflections are now moving with the player's perspective rather than where the cube map is. So the cube map now is uh, referencing a invisible bounding box. So basically there is a rectangle covering this entire room and the cube map references that rectangle to find the edges of the room and then it projects everything with inside the room onto all of the reflective surfaces. So like onto the ceiling, onto the walls, and onto the floor. So that's how it knows where to keep the reflections inside of the room. So there's one rectangle for this entire bathroom and there's one rectangle for this hallway and there's one rectangle for this uh, shower room right here. So that's why the reflections are able to stay in their proper position. So yeah, definitely is gonna be super handy for level designers to utilize to make their environments look a lot more accurate. And really it just looks a lot nicer because you can see so many more objects being reflected onto the surfaces. 
But uh, yeah, anyway, guys, that is pretty much going to be it for this video. Nice, short, and sweet. Hopefully, we can show you guys some more fancy uh, graphical enhancements like this in the future. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Maybe subscribe if you want to see more. And we will see you guys in the next developer video.